Welcome to my science experiment. I'll be your host, Anthony, and today we're going to be making a saturated solution between sugar and water. So the first thing, the purpose of this experiment is to, de to determine the saturation point of sugar in water. The equipment we'll need are two clear plastic cups, two spoons, 100 milliliters of water, which I have over here, balance, 120 grams of sugar, measuring cups, and just some paper towel just in case I need to clean up. My hypothesis is, I think I might have to add 120 grams of sugar. I'm not sure. Just that to make an hypothesis. Okay. First, I need to measure out 100 milliliters of water in this measuring cup. Got to add the 100 milliliters of water. Go. I need a little more. There we go. No, 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 no. Is that 100 milliliters? There we go. Here, see I measured the 100 milliliters of water in this measuring cup. I'm not using plastic cups, I'm using glass because I couldn't find any. So, just going to pour this all in there. Okay, second step. So I gotta weigh 120 grams of sugar onto this balance, or whatever they call it, scale or balance. Just get 120 grams and put it on the scale. It's not really going anywhere yet, but. As you can see there, it's at 120 grams. Now I'm going to pour the sugar into the second glass. Let's be over here. This okay, so now I'm going to pour a spoonful of the sugar in the water and stir it. for about like 50 seconds, maybe 30 seconds. Okay. Step four. If the sugar is completely dissolved, repeat step three. If not, move on to step five. Well, the sugar is almost dissolved, I, th I would say here. Let me just keep stirring. Okay, so I'm sure all the sugar has been dissolved. There's just maybe a little bit down there, and it looks all dissolved from here. So I'm gonna add another spoonful, so because it's so I can repeat step three, and then stir it again. So this is my second spoonful. Okay. It looked like the sugar is dissolving. Most of the sugar is basically at the very bottom, but it looks completely dissolved from my angle that I'm seeing it at. The water is completely dissolved, so now I'm going to have to add more sugar. I think another spoonful would do. And let's see if I have to add more or not. Okay, so after waiting five minutes, 
The sugar is not completely dissolved, which means it's a saturated solution. Now it's a saturated. It's saturated because I because I added so much sugar to make it a saturated solution. Now we're going to have to measure the rest of the sugar that I had left. Okay. And this, I believe, measures up to the mass of the sugar after the experiment was 60 grams of sugar. And the amount of sugar in solution, well, 60. I added 60 grams of sugar to make this a saturated solution. Oh, it worked! Let's go, baby! Woo! Okay, so this experiment was very successful with adding 60 grams of sugar into the water. And yeah, I'll see you guys.